And welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Yasuo Ezreal, our next deck for our weird champion combo day. That's right, we're putting Yasuo with Ezreal. That's kind of a little different. Uh, basically what we're doing here is we're taking like the, the Karma Ezreal deck, which we know is really good and one of the most popular decks, and kind of downgrading it from Karma to Yasuo, but it should be a lot of fun. You know, it's gonna be it's gonna be a little different, but it's probably just a straight up downgrade. But anyway, so Yasuo, of course, whenever you stun or recall an enemy, does two damage to it. So we need to be stunning, stunning and recalling stuff. We have uh, all of the cards that say stun in Ionia. We have in the deck. We got you know three of each: Yone, Steel Tempest. Uh, playing Blade Twirler as our two drop instead of Pickpocket. Uh, just just replacing those. Um, and then of course our Yasuo. So. We're stunning as much as we can. A lot of the good stun cards are in Noxus, unfortunately. Especially the Arachnoid Sentry. That card would be perfect here. But our top end like really turns on Yasuo and Ezreal both. Yone and Mina Swiftfoot are both awesome at that. You know, Yone is two triggers for Yasuo and two triggers for Ezreal, and Swiftfoot is three triggers for both also. Um, so yeah, definitely excited about like trying to, trying to get like Yone and Swiftfoot to turn on our champions and then our champions take over. Um, hey, Rav Welke. So that's, that's kind of like the goal. I mean, we do have to stay alive. So, you know, we got like our, our interaction and everything. Uh, Solitary Monk, maybe we pick up a few allies. Like maybe we pick up like a Shadow Assassin and a Chump Womp or, you know, even picking up Yone and Swiftfoot. Some recalls to get some triggers on, uh, Yasuo. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, this is something a little different. You know, we're, we're just kind of testing things out today. All right. Yasuo Ezreal. Let's, let's get to some games. I think Callista Shen is the weirdest combination. Yeah, that's true. It's hard to put Shen <clears throat> with any other region that's not... Demacia, because Demacia has so much barrier stuff. Kind of like it's difficult to put um, Yasuo in, in a different region that's not Noxus, because Noxus has so much stun stuff. So this is Elusives. We don't really need Yasuo right away. Like, that's the thing about our champions. We don't need them right away. Our champions are more late game cards. Um, so we're actually probably going to be mulligating both our champions when they're in our opening hand. Basically, do I want to play the Blade Twirler and then recall the Blade Twirler just to get a... I think I do. To get a trigger for Yasuo. It doesn't give the Blade Twirler plus two plus zero, of course, because it's it's gone. It's not there anymore. But if I would not have done that, we would have banked two mana. So I would have had two extra mana to Mystic Shot this Zed at last turn. And that probably would have been nice. Alright, so we got two triggers for Yasuo. Everyone here? Let's go. Hmm. The order rewards its faithful. really don't need these denies 
very much. I think there's two in our deck. Round six, we need it to be round nine. We need Swiftfoot. Alright, Zed's pretty good. Zed is pretty good. Making kind of a weird block with. Oh, yeah, I think it's gonna just level up anyway. Maybe I should just block the two one, but uh, kind of letting them keep all of these kind of crappy creatures in play, so they can't, you know, they can't just keep playing more things, basically. I need intimidating roar right now with this Yasuo. It's been kind of an awkward hand of just a whole bunch of units and denies. And, you know, that's it. It's been awkward. a good shot if we can su if we can survive this attack as though it were an insult save it for someone who listen if we survive this attack uh, that's gonna make it a lot more difficult to survive this attack I thought you'd never ask Survive this attack, we can have Swift Foot next turn. Okay. Well, let's. Block here, here. Here, here. It's me going down to two. I can even. I can play this Refuge. I know you're thinking and stuff, but could you maybe speed things up a little? Do I even play the refuge? Maybe not. Man, if only I could give this thing life steal the next turn. Alright, really hope that, hoping they don't have deny. I 
do two damage to each one. Feet were made for Roman and kicking. Set them up. We'll knock them down. Set them up. We'll knock them down. No, they have to die. Boo. Hmm. <laughs> Set him up. We'll no. <laughs> All right. I think we got this though. That was another good draw. We've drawn two Steel Tempest. That's pretty good. We brought friends. I warned you. Obstacle meat gauntlet. I guess I just let this happen, and then if they if they have something, then I have another Steel Tempest, depending on like what I need to do. Like if they deny this, I probably need to Steel Tempest again. That kills me now? How does that kill me now? Oh, because I don't gain the four life from the Yasuo, right? That's how it's gonna kill me. So I don't gain that four life. My kind of lessons. So the good news is they do not have another deny. At least they didn't last last turn. So we're gonna do this one and then this and then probably just take out. We probably just need to take out all the elusive things. Even though killing Zed would normally seem to make a lot of sense, but I think we need to kill all the elusive things. That's not, that doesn't make sense. That doesn't work. Yeah, not, not the best elixir of iron. Yeah, he levels up, yeah, mid-effect, so, like, the first, because Yasuo is at four out of five, so the first one that you target took two, and then the next two you target, Yasuo levels up and does the five damage each to the other two. I am a true master. This, this isn't over yet. We can still lose, like, they just, that jewel protector was a really bad sign, because they could play a large lifesteal, or a large flyer, which they just did. That was a really, like, Jewel Protector into Big Flyer was not good. The advantage is mine. Yeah, GG's. Yeah, so the order that you, that you choose it matters. 
Of course, they could have just had, like, if they would have had, like, multiple, like, multiple elusives. You know, we had, like, the, the four the four damage burn spells that could have maybe killed multiple elusives. So close. Yeah, Jewel Protector into Big Elusive was definitely what I couldn't quite handle. But, yeah, that was a game that, you know, looked like we were losing for a long time. And we were coming back. Almost stabilized. Yeah, that was, a, that was a good game. All right, Karina Control. So we don't need this or this. We don't need Ezreal right away either. We'll keep the Chump Womp. Ugh, don't really need Mystic Shots. We don't really need a lot of stuff early. We need... I don't know, like our three mana unit. Three mana allies. I know what lurks in the shadows. You will suffer long. I was thinking like Solitary Monk Shadow Assassin would be what we would want to draw. This works too. Get a lease out of here. We're not up any cards. Like we we spent two cards to deal with a lease, but we also drew a card, so it's like we We spent two but draw. But we drew one. Ezreal's at three out of eight right now. The order rewards its faithful. They play a good amount of life gain. As we saw there with like the grass the undying, which is why we don't necessarily need to throw like mushroom clouds at him right away. But we do have to just make sure that our, our hand isn't like too full for other um mushroom clouds with chump womp so i'll just send these over there like you know we'd be wasting that mana anyway lead dress would be real scary but i guess we can Stun Ledros a couple of times. So ten mana. Puff caps now. I walk my path that gets me two triggers for Yasuo, two recalls, and we replay Shadow Assassin, draw a card, replay Chump Womp, get ten more mushroom clouds to give him. Ten, ten more puff caps.
Um... I could see them wanting me to play the chump womp and then and then they would ruination. But I need to get cards out of my hand. So uh, they're at the same spot though, they're at ten cards. They gotta play stuff too. I wonder if those cards have That just all two damage? One of those cards have... Um... Okay, so no, that doesn't take any puff caps away. That's what I was wondering. I wonder if that was, was wondering if that was going to take puff caps away. So they can mill themselves out with this card pretty easily. Right? It certainly seems like it. Free and lonesome as a summer breeze. We can put it back in their hand, make them cast it again, mill over another five cards. Mm, yeah, it just happens. I've got three warnings. Now basically every card has a puff cap. Oh no, five puff caps went away. No, so those puff caps were on those cards. I guess they just went away because I had 19 a little bit ago. So yeah. It makes sense that they do go away. Aren't they worried about milling themselves out? Now they only have 15 cards to kill me. Free and lonesome as a summer breeze. So young, so careless. Another trigger for Ezreal. Ezreal's at 7 out of 8. Not really sure how they're going to win. So they got 15 cards to kill me. Relax and strike. Be gone. I should probably recall this Karina Vareza. Deny's good. That's That's definitely good. Cards on my hand. Have jump up, make some more mushroom clouds to give him. Basically, I have to do all their points of damage and burn spells, basically. All right, gonna let that happen. I'm gonna bounce Karina. Thanks, RKO. Thank you.
Atrocity. I don't like that. Is Ezreal leveled up too now? Yeah. Come closer. I don't bite. All right, am I playing Yasuo, Thermogenic Beam, or Chumplump? Hmm. Tough call, tough call. Okay, it's not Chumplump, so it's either Yasuo or Beam. Nine. All right, 12 cards left, 11 puff caps. Got 20 cards left. Hey, Elvis. It's basically just like direct damage is like the only thing that, uh, the only way that like my opponent's probably killing us is direct damage stuff without, like, besides that, um, like, it's not going to be in combat. Ezreal is, you know, probably our best draw because we draw Ezreal and just cast a bunch of stuff and kill him. on this again but um you know i'll take i'll trade yasuo for a vengeance that's not bad does give me 21 cards it makes it so i'm farther away from drawing ezreal Taking six here. No. So they're dead. Don't know what they're up against. The world's a big place. Let's see all of it. Likely dead. Swiftfoot is, you know, pretty good against like the Karina Veraza and stuff. You know, like that. That's not a card you can play too too many times. It gets rid of, you know, an eighth of your deck. So it gets rid of twelve point five percent of your starting deck, uh, which that of course adds up. You try playing it two or three times, you're gonna run out of deck. GGs. 
Jimmy Jimmies. So we're one one. Fiora Garrett. Do I put Yone back because Yone costs seven? Like, Yone is good. Like, Yone is very good. But also costs seven. But it's very good. I think I'll keep it. Because it is very good. Obviously, if they have a real fast, aggressive hand, that's going to be trouble. I want them to have, like, a slower, like, Fiora hand where they have, like, a bunch of barriers. Like, that's... We can we can definitely beat, like, the Fiora barrier hand. If they have, you know, one drop, War Chefs, and we're going to lose. So that's bad news. Gonna lose. Head to the base. No one goes hungry. One drop warships. Hmm. Order rewards its faithful. So I could could have played Ezreal and then had it. You know, Mystic Shot. You know, got a Mystic Shot. Shot like the Tracker. But I think I like having the next turn having Yasuo Steel Tempest. Uh, but I guess they're probably just going straight to attacks, aren't they? And so then. One banner, one destiny. Okay, now so we get Yasuo Steel Tempest. But yeah, you're you're right. My my hand was very slow versus Bannerman. That this, they had the the perfect Bannerman curve. Tracker, War Chefs, Protege, Bannerman. Like that's that was definitely the hand that was going to defeat what I'm doing. But we'll see. We'll see how much Yasuo can do. I'm gonna play this one to shuffle Yas Yasuo back into the deck, so we have more chances of drawing more steel tempuses. Alright, Yasu and Ezreal, gonna need you to step this up. Oh, take your time, pal. It's not like I've got better things to do. <clears throat> if they pass back to me. Uh, come on, they had Garen too? Be so Don't even think if they were gonna pass back to me, I was going to I was gonna just pass back to them. Man, Garen also. But that's just the best curve, right? <laughs> they had it all. Best curve. You call this a 
Yeah, all right, it's hardly fair. That's what I'm saying. have to block with Yasuo and kill Yasuo and have Yasuo die. I, mean, I wouldn't say they I wouldn't say they consistently have this one, two, three, four, five. It's, it's their best cards every single spot. I wouldn't say it's consistently like that, but But yeah, yeah, the Demacia deck is is very good. Um, yeah, it is very good. I know you're thinking and stuff, but could you maybe speed things up a little? Like the Bannerman and the Warchefs, definitely good against. Um, no way. Yeah, getting the Garen also that that was a that was a killer. We I could I was thinking that was maybe gonna be able to stabilize, but with the Garen also. Basically no shot. Why do I have to keep drawing both denies against a deck that denies a dead card against? <laughs> That's that was our first loss also. It's like, you know, we played a matchup where a deny was a dead card and we just drew both denies right away. Same thing here. But obviously we don't have any chance. At this point. <clears throat> Is there any way that they play something pre-combat and I get to Yone? Probably not, right? I mean, there's probably no way they do, right? Come on, play something pre-combat. Let me Yone. have that too. <clears throat> Definitely knew that I was going to be in a lot of trouble if they curved out one drop Warchef's Bannerman, and that's what they did. And then I drew pretty well, and so I could even handle that, but then they curved into Garen. So, GG's. 
All right, so we're playing the mirror, but we're playing against Karma. So we'll see what's better, Yasuo or Karma. We'll keep Thermogenic Beam as something that can, uh, you know, like they could have like Kempunk Pickpocket on turn two. Maybe I need this for, or you know, they have an early Ezreal or whatever, or Karma. So I didn't lead with Solitary Monk uh, because I was thinking that I, I kind of want to just actually recall my Shadow Assassin with Solitary Monk. But. Oh, well, these. Three damage Thermogenic Beam on it. Need to stun a recall first to pump these things up. I'm probably not supposed to expose Ezreal yet. Just in general. We're probably supposed to wait there. So in, in case they would play Karma, I've been keeping up and keeping this Thermogenic Beam available. Don't want them to have Karma survive. Alright, very good. Can't play Karma. Should have played Yone. I think they're at least going to attack. That's what I was thinking. At least. I'll do what must be done. That's probably a bad use of mushrooms. They're probably supposed to just wait till Ezreal. Yeah, that, that's a bad use of mushrooms. So then use use my mana. Only I can quell the wind. Um. My plan is to have my Yone trait, like if they attack out, 
My Yone trade. And then stun the other. Pump up these Blade Twirlers. Chill at 20 for a little bit though. That's fine. Two drops to do a lot for me. Um, guess I deny one of those. Dang, it's gonna be tough being Karma. Tough beating karma. Be winnable. Don't blink, or you'll miss me. We'll bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. It's not over yet. They don't have removal here. It's kind of fun. I dare you. Over yet. Four out of five. Try to keep up. Your end is my duty. Humility. All right, now it's pretty over. No, at least at least Garen isn't really a a combo. Um, hey, good looking. Back at you. Think you're fast? Cute. They drew two Yones and I drew one Yone. We both have three, but then I also have like the two Swiftfoot. So like I have five of like the the big the real big things. I have five of them, and they have three and they drew two and I drew one those big things are really important but there's there's the turn seven that I should have played my Yone and I didn't so you know thinking they were gonna attack or something else and I got that's that's like the turn that I needed to do something different than what I did Yeah, uh, yeah, basically, 
yeah, it's basically kind of like a new Dawn Spiders deck. Is, a leap is what that uh, that Elise Garen was. It felt it felt pretty decent. It felt like a, a pretty decent deck. Um, Yeah, like it, it was, it was definitely a good deck. You know, we're we're putting together, um, you know, some weird champion combinations today. But yeah, Lee Garen was good. I think that Dawn Speakers is just a card that is not played enough. I think that it should be played more in the Demacia decks, uh, especially the ones filled with challengers, where you can use your challengers. Uh, to have units die and then, it, you know, get more triggers to make other challengers even bigger and, and so on. Teemo Thresh. <laughs> That's what we're playing up next, Teemo Thresh. Oh, it's Teemo Hecarim. Okay, never mind. Teemo Hecarim. That's probably a little bit more aggressive. I kind of think I should just be Mystic Shotting. Uh, I should be doing that during combat. So they don't just play another Teemo. Good old spell mana. Get to save that. Still get to, you know, curve out, play our Shadow Assassin this turn and everything. Frankster. Oh. That animation just took a while, so I clicked OK. Um... It's not the worst thing in the world if we just pass, though. All right, what you doing over here, Bucca? There we go. <clears throat> okay, so that means that this is going to do four damage to me. Um, I can just Will of Ionia the Prankster and save two life. Or I, I do want to get this in before we start doing that kind of stuff. So I think that we'll just uh, play the Blade Twirler and then Thermogenic Beam. The prankster, so we stop taking more prankster damage. So we'll only be able to single spell next turn because we're going to have five mana and a whole bunch of four mana spells. No. 
If I would have just bounced. No, we only had four mana, no. Uh, I would have had to save at least two mana to be able to Yone. Oh wait, no, Yone's not a spell. You can't just... You can't do that, what am I saying? Oh, burst speed. I don't like that. like that at all. I don't like this one bit. I feel like before I use the refuge with the protection here, I need to pump this up more. I need to get it larger before I do the life steal. Wanna see these moves up close? Not ideal at all. Oh, this isn't gonna work at all because the the prankster. This isn't gonna work at all. I should have killed the prankster. Yeah, I needed to kill prankster. Now I'm just dead. Because I'm assuming they're gonna play like multiple ephemeral things. And then I was going to Yone those ephemeral things. But now with Prankster, I, I need to kill Prankster, not the Boom Crew rookie. So I, I could have could have refuge to this, but we didn't we didn't see the prankster until after I attacked. Slippery. Well that's good. I hope this works. Can we kill the prankster first, then the Teemo? Probably not working. Nope. Okay. So it didn't matter what I was doing. I, they had four points of burn and I was at four. Well. I needed to refuge last turn. Tough deck to play here. Tough deck to play. Um, I definitely don't think I played perfectly. Uh, but yeah, this is a tough deck to play. Tough tough deck to stabilize and win the game against the aggressive decks. Uh, it was, yeah, it was really tough to stabilize. Again, yeah, that's 
basically what we're losing to all the time are those aggro decks. And then uh, the and then Karma to beat the Ezreal Mirror. So, um, yeah, certainly a downgrade over playing Karma Ezreal, but you know, trying to trying to find somewhere else to play Yasuo. Uh, as you said at the beginning, it's really hard to play Yasuo outside of Noxus because Noxus is where you really have like more stun cards. Um, but that's what today's about. Today's about playing some weird decks and some weird champion combos. Um, you know, we were relying on Yone and Swiftfoot, but against the aggro decks, it's hard to rely on 7 mana and 9 mana there. All right. Uh, but those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And uh, let me know what you think of this combination and just other uh, combinations of champions. If you have, you know... You know other ideas of champions you think that uh, you don't you don't see them together, but you think that they have some potential. Uh, let me know in the comment section. All right, but thank you so much for watching some Yasuo Ezreal, and I'll see you for the next video.